Welcome to Make a Path Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 7, Predictions. Now this episode looks pretty damn exciting. Not really from the trailer, but being a comic book fan, there seems to be hints at some possibly awesome comic book stuff coming. I'm not going to put it all out in this prediction video, but it does have to do with maybe, and this is a slim maybe, because there's no signs we will actually see any of this, but when Negan is seen giving that speech, right, on the platform, there's a similar scene in the comic book which relates to uh, Dwight getting his face burnt. It kind of reveals a little bit of that scenario, and I'm hoping, I am hoping they do it in this episode. They just might. I mean, they're, they're taking a lot of comic book scenes, especially with Negan, and even though there's some remixing going on, they're giving us some of the panels, like, out of nowhere, panel for panel. Panel. So I'm really hoping this is one of those cases. And this episode is called Sing Me a Song, which is also a comic book reference. But it's a reference that has a certain amount of the fan base so excited for something that happens between Carl and Negan, which it is a little creepy. It sounds a little creepy <laughs> uh, with the Sing Me a Song stuff. But it even seems like it has the potential to be even more creepy and weird. I, and I don't mean creepy in that way. I mean creepy in a weird, creepy way. But because the actor has aged uh, <laughs> the way he did, I don't see how this scene is going to play out. But chances are we might get Carl singing to Negan. <laughs> Again, when he was a kid, it was slightly different in the comic book. It seem to have fit a little bit better so we'll see how it plays out on the show but i'll be honest with you guys i don't see it playing out like that and i know they won't fool fans like that they won't be like okay here's a scene that a lot of fans are hoping that carl and negan get their scene similar to in the comic book at least some type of interaction and then they titled the episode that and then not give us that so i feel like we're definitely getting something and speaking of carl i think he throws jesus out of the van i think he pushes him out you know the box truck because Either Jesus says, hey, listen, you can't go up there. This is a suicide mission. You're foolish. You know, we have a plan. Just be patient, even though they don't have a plan. But still, he tells him anything. He, and then he says, listen, we're going to jump out of the truck now, and then we'll go and spy on him. We know the road, or whatever he says. And then either Jesus jumps and Carl doesn't follow, or... Jesus says, listen, I can't let you go up there alone, or I can't let you go up there at all. I need to uh, get you out of this situation. And then when Jesus decides to peek out to see if the coast is clear, or to see if he recognizes the area at all, to see where they're at, then Carl decides it's his chance to push him out. Which, again, I think he needs his ass kicked for that, because he could split his head open. I mean, Jesus could break his leg. If he breaks his leg out there, how the fuck is he going to get back home? He could break his arm. I mean, anything. He could knock himself out something stupid. He can crack his head off something and then get eaten while he's unconscious by a walker. I mean, anything. So if Carl pushes him, he needs his ass kicked. <laughs> so we know that Michonne is going to think about some things, right? And we do see her in a sneak peek just kill two walkers. Now, I'm not sure if this is a situation where she's just uh, letting off some steam or she's going to use these walkers. Now, she kills them, kills them, not cuts off their arms. She doesn't mutilate them. She you know, takes one's head off and she straight up kills the other one, just putting the sword through from one ear out the other. So unless she's going to use them as a guts trick, I think maybe she's just letting off some steam. I don't know where she's headed. I don't know what she plans on thinking. Maybe she's trying to go up to me, maybe she's changed her mind, or she's really just taking a walk in the world of The Walking Dead. It's come to that point where we're watching characters take walks. Yeah, I, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that that's our sneak peek, okay? I wanted a, I wanted some meat to go off of, but this is just someone walking, whistling, killing walkers, and I'm fed up. <laughs> uh, with that said, we see Aaron and um, Rick in the box truck, or one of the box trucks, sleeping in a truck they find, or they take a truck, which is a smart idea. As far as them jumping over a sign that says trouble, I don't think it's going to be another community, but I do feel like it's about time we get somebody connected back up with Morgan and Carol. And if Jesus isn't going to be the one to say, hey, 
I need to introduce you to this new community. If he's not going to be the one to say it, then maybe they need to stumble on the community themselves and run into someone from the kingdom and then, you know, find out. Uh, they can even run into Carol. She's out there. But I think they should find out about the kingdom, you know, talk with Morgan and them, just something along that lines. And then we also see Rosita and Eugene walking out. Now, they're either going one of two places. We didn't see them make the bullet yet, and they're playing with time, so we don't know if they did that shit yet. So they're either going to the bullet factory to get it set up or they're going on a little uh, supply run to get the shells at the bridge and again we don't know if Tara is going to tell them about the shells but I feel like they zoomed in uh, pretty close on those shells to maybe have that a possibility that that will allow them and I said this in a review that they can meet the other community without Terra being a snitch. If you want a detailed explanation, check out the review. I talk about that there. Uh, with that said, we'll probably follow up with another Q&A this week, either one or two more, and we'll go into detail about uh, some questions coming up with the uh, current episode and the mid-season finale. We most likely are getting a death in the mid-season finale. It's starting to line up like we're going to get a minor character death. I won't say it here, but we shouldn't get any major character deaths uh, for the rest of the next two episodes. If we do, I'm surprised. With that said, Heath is still missing, and I don't think we're going to see him yet. As far as when he is he going to return, possibly uh, next episode half so in 2017 we'll see heath again maybe <laughs> with that said we have a video done about the iron about something that's coming up about daryl watching it if you're curious about what i think is going to happen at the sanctuary in the next episode go ahead and check that video out i still stand by that video my predictions haven't changed because nothing else has changed on the show to change those predictions so if you're interested in that check that out other than that leave your thoughts theories and predictions down in the comment box i'm done talking it's your turn. Subscribe now.